Like Earth and Venus, Mars has mountains, valleys and volcanoes, but the red planet's features are by far the biggest and most dramatic. Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system called Olympus Mons. Found in the Tharsis Montes region near the Martian equator, Olympus Mons is one of a dozen large volcanoes. The volcanoes in this region are so large that they tower above the seasonal Martian dust storms. Olympus Mons is the tallest of them all and towers 25 kilometers above the surrounding plains and stretches across an area of 300,000 square kilometers, roughly the size of the US state of Arizona. Olympus Mons is almost three times taller than Earth's Mount Everest, but Everest is not a volcano. It's formed by the movement of Earth's tectonic plates and it has a height of 8.8 .8 kilometers above sea level. Hawaii's Mauna Kea is the tallest volcano on Earth. It rises about 10 kilometers above the sea floor, but its peak is only 4.2 kilometers above the sea level. On the edges of Olympus Mons, there are cliffs that go up to 8 kilometers in height, almost as tall as Mount Everest, and beyond the cliffs, the slope of Olympus Mons leading to the top is about 5 degrees. Although Olympus Mons is 25 kilometers high from its surrounding plains, but with respect to the imaginary sphere called Aeroid, which is similar to the sea level on Earth, the mountain is only 21 kilometers high, but that is still a record-breaking size. So why would such a huge volcano form on Mars, but not on Earth? Mars has about one-third the gravity of Earth. A person who weighs 100 pounds on Earth would only weigh about 38 pounds on Mars. Scientists think that the lower surface gravity of the red planet combined with higher eruption rates allowed for the lava on Mars to pile up higher. Another reason why the volcanoes on Mars are so massive is because the crust on Mars doesn't move the way it does on Earth. On Earth, the hot spots remain stationary, but the crustal plates are moving above them. This distributes the total volume of lava among many volcanoes rather than one large volcano. On Mars, the crust remains stationary and the lava piles up in one very large volcano. The fact that Olympus Mons is so broad means that it doesn't look like a typical mountain on Earth. If you were standing on it, it would simply appear to be a gently sloping plain. When compared to Martian terrain in general, there aren't many impact craters on Olympus Mons surface. This indicates that the uppermost layer of lava is relatively young with the last eruption occurring as recently as 25 million years ago. This raises the intriguing possibility that the volcano is still active and may erupt again in the future. Mars has not only the highest highs, but also some of the solar system's lowest lows. Southeast of Olympus Mons lies Valles Marineris, the red planet's iconic canyon system. The gorges span about 4,000 kilometers at its deepest point, it is about 7 kilometers deep, and at its widest, it's a staggering 200 kilometers across. Mars is one of the most explored bodies in our solar system, and it's the only planet where we have sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. Elon Musk, founder and CEO of SpaceX, is building a massive vehicle called Starship in part to send humans to Mars. Will humans eventually build a scientific base on the Martian surface like those in the Antarctica? Time will tell. But no matter what, Mars will continue to occupy the human imagination.